the question of what I was doing when I got the Nobel Prize call, a question that has been asked a thousand times. I think many people have listened to the call that was recorded and which I didn't know and put on the website uh, and I was driving in the middle of Spain trying to find a small city where I was supposed to go for a conference. Most people who live in the United States, if they have the fortune or luck or both to get such a call, uh, most people are sleeping, except if they expect it. Um, and the usual procedure is, as I understand, is that you first get the call and then you're called again. And the recording is only done for the when time you're called again. So most people are prepared, they know what they're going to do, and my co laureates already had showered when they got the call, so the um, <laughs> situation was a little different for me because the first call never reached me. Um, Adam Smith, who is part of Noble Media, I understand, was actually the one who called me and um, my first thought was, quite honestly, uh, skeptic, skepticism. I was skeptic about the call. I felt that um, there was something not quite... Uh, it didn't sound right that somebody with a high English accent would call you about that. So uh, I was a little cautious. I was also a little sleepy because I hadn't slept the night before, of course. I was in flying. And so um, I had to gather my wits and try to figure out whether that was actually a truthful call or a prank. <laughs> 